Hi, good morning. Welcome to my channel, Rosa Technocrat. Today I am here with another video on an issue which I had faced recently. So let's talk about the errors. Recently I have been troubleshooting a FortiGate where I came across an error which was related to the disk. And that error description was previous IO error to super block detected. So let's start how to troubleshoot this or no more details about this. <clears throat> Recently, I was working on one of the FortiGate where in the error logs, I observed this error. Uh, it was showing like error extension F sync detected IO error when writing metadata buffers. I could also see it was showing as previous IO error to super block detected. And in the event logs, you can see something like this. <clears throat> so basically, these are different examples how you can see this error. Either you might be getting some logs related to, let me highlight, either you might be getting some logs with this as the description where you might be seeing detected IO error when writing metadata buffers or you may notice these ones previous io error to super block detected if you see this in your event logs then you will be noticing this previous io error super block detected so uh, it can be in event logs okay it can be in event logs if you don't see in event logs it might be in crash logs if the critical notice or by any chance if your logging is not enabled then this will come under crash log <clears throat> so these are like different ways how you might notice this error either in crash log or in event log and this will be in critical the level of the log will be critical okay so what this this error means kernel error previous IO error to super block detected. So basically as the name says IO error. So this is something related to input output device and block this is on hard disk. So basically this error is related to the hard disk on your device or on the FortiGate. Okay. So even either if you are getting this or if you are getting this. So this is also similar detected IO error when writing metadata buffers. So writing means where it will write, it will write to the disk, right? So this error also related to same issue disk. So and you can see here, this is a file system type. And this represents the disk on which this error is noticed. <clears throat> so if you see SDA3, that means this particular partition on your device is affected or corrupted so this is this tells the partition on which the problem exists this is a type of the file system of the disk and this is related to the which block on the hard disk is having problem not which block i mean some block is having problem so this error can be under the crash logs or under the event logs <clears throat> Let's see how to troubleshoot this. Okay. So as I shown, so either you will see it as an event log or in crash log. So when you go to your event logs, you will notice something like this. If you see the event details, similarly, previous IO error to super block detected. And in the event logs, you will be able to see something like this. Why I am showing you here the images and because of course for this error I will not be able to show you a lab replication uh, as if I don't have the error on my device I cannot produce this or I cannot corrupt my disk. So I am trying to show you all the possible logs that is how you might have noticed or you might have seen this error under your device. Under event logs, you can notice something like this previous IO error detected. And if you go under the crash logs, you will notice something like this. So this means that your disk is having some problem and this is a critical and it may last longer. It depends on the like disk, how many blocks or how much disk is corrupted or having problematic. 
You may continue working with this error, but sometimes it may lead to a critical issue or critical failure of the device. When you see the same error under your crash log read, you will notice like this as I explained. Okay. Okay, now coming to what data you need to collect if you want to confirm or if you want to troubleshoot this issue, which commands or what data you need to collect uh, to present it to the technical support or Fortigate tech. These are the different data you need. And also for your own understanding, you to troubleshoot or to know the exact issue, you need these details for the issue. I will, I will be showing you all this on a device like what each command does let's see i think my device is gone timed out let me log in let's go let's log in to our device okay let's log into our device coming back to the place okay and let's go so when i'm running these different commands on my device let us see what each of these means if i do get system status so this gives us information about what is my hardware what is the software version running what is the serial number is there a log disk available or not so these information we can get from the get system status and in any case in any issue get system status is always a must because that is where we can see software version hardware serial number of the device if the device is in ha or not so these this is an always used command for any issues okay so then we will see diagnose hardware okay it's not running because i have multiple vdoms so whenever you have multiple vdoms most of your commands run under global so for that global you have to type config global or as a shortcut you can also type c space g and enter after going into the global i will run the command diagnose hardware device info disk okay so when i do device info disk you will notice what are the different disks or partitions i have on my device okay so if you see you can see disk ssd1 disk ssd2 and disk system boot so basically disk system boot is the flash that is inside the device then we have any additional disks that are present so if your error shows which partition if we go back to our ppt so here if you see it shows sdc2 or here it says sda1 or here it says sda3 so as i told you this represents the partition or the disk on which the error is present so if you go here you will be able to see which partition it is okay like sda and it can be either sda sda1 sda2 sda3 and so on depending on the model that you are having or depending on uh, which hardware okay so if you run diagnose hardware disk uh, device info disk it gives you all information about the disk that is on your device then because you are suspecting an issue with the disk there is a command available in 40 os that is diagnose hardware test and disk so test sorry test disk so when you do a diagnose hardware test disk the 40 os tries to do a self check for the device and it gives you an result stating if it noticed some issue with the disk or not for example when i did a diag hardware test disk here it shows me about the different partitions i had slash sda nvme okay and it tells the status it says okay 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 pass file test data pass log everything and finally the fortinet hardware test report which says disk and the status of these 
uh, different uh, parameters but if you are having an issue some of these tests might fail or may not fail depending on how many blocks or how much data is corrupted so that, that may depend on the how severe is the issue or how many blocks are corrupted okay so you have to do an diagram hardware uh, test disk to see if it is this test is reporting any of the issues then you also can check if any process is causing this or if the issue is also present in the direct debug crash log read as i explained so if that error is coming here so not this one in my case it's not there so you might notice that uh, disk related uh, log under crash log read and then of course tech is always going to ask you exec tech report so basically exec tech report contains all the details related to any interface errors uh, basic configuration status of all cpu stop so that is something like a basic for tech to always ask about the tech report now we know what we have to collect let's go what are the possible solutions for this issue but as this is a hardware problem so most possibly it's the replacement but still let us see what we can do okay and before going to the solutions uh, this io error to super block detected is not only specific to 40 gig device but it is related to the disks so you can notice this error on any other linux device or any other device which are using uh, disks so th this is something common related to a io blocks issues on any disk so it's not only for ticket but other systems also you might notice this so as if you google here you can see like the error is there on the linux devices and you will see multiple articles this is just to show you this is a common error for a disk related issue okay and if you go to fortinet document library i'm just showing one of the examples here so this is uh, with respect to a specific model for a, if an or has i boot device io errors messages similar to following appear during console sessions with the module so these kind of errors are noticed and what this article says is if you see boot device io errors similar to these you should contact fortinet support why contact fortinet support there is no other explanation or what to check right because this is a hardware error and the fortinet support can do an rma or replacement what is the best possible based on the contract so mostly it's the hardware issue and you have to do an rma okay uh, let's talk about the possible solutions in this case the first and the quickest possible solution is reload of the device so in nine not 90 i will say in say 70 or 60 percent of the case reload of the device will fix this issue why because when you reload a device reloading a device is something uh, like fixing the block error so when the 40 gate is rebooted there is a disk test like you might have noticed in uh, your windows pc or windows laptop as well if you shut down the device uh, interruptly like without uh, following the proper procedure when you are rebooting the device it asks for your disk check integrity so similarly if you reload a 40 gate device 40 gate device can also fix some uh, corrupted blocks and it can also ask for a disk check so during the reboot uh, mostly this kind of issues are fixed so the first solution is reboot of the device or reload of the device second is doing a diagnose test and or hqip test as i told you diagnose hardware test disk so that will tell you what kind of errors are there even if they even if they are persisting after the reboot and based on that you have to ask fortinet support for an rma if the hqip test is failed in case of hqip test failed even the reload of the device will not fix the issue or in case of diagnose test uh, 
so this hqip test or diagnosis test this depends on hardware model some models may not have this command in that case you have to use the hqip test hqip test is a different uh, like image is available to perform an hqip and the third option is if reload is not fixing the issue issue and you saw like it is showing the device uh, failed under hqip test or reporting some errors then the third option will be format the disk okay so you can format the partition or format the disk by doing a format and reloading the firmware using the tftp so this part is a totally like separate discussion uh, how to load firmware using tftp there are multiple articles available on how to install firmware using tftp or if you want i can also create a video showing you how to do it so so this is something like this is also a link to article i have created if you click on this it will take you to uh, that particular article so this like here you can see this explains how to do and firmware install on a FortiGate from the fresh beginning after formatting okay <clears throat> so format the disk and load the firmware again using tftp and even after doing this if you are still getting the error the only possible solution or the final solution is the replacement of the device as the disk of the devices or totally faulty <clears throat> so those i was talking about the possible solutions and the final solution is you know rma the fortigate firewall as the disk is faulty and if you have a valid support contract then the device can be replaced by fortinet depends on your contract and if no contract then play with the device till it last <laughs> the, the jokes apart and completely die or if you can find some way to replace the disks that's it so solution is this and this is you know if no contract then we can't do anything thank you so much hope this will help you if you face this error related to io errors thank you everyone thank you so much bye bye